Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 amazing experiments you can do at home. So these are some amazing experiments that all of you guys can do and these will blow anyone you show's mind, especially the last one, so check it out. And be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply to all of you. So, coming in at number 10, we have instant ice. So, you know if you want ice in your drink, then you need to freeze ice cubes, and that takes a while, right? Well, with this insane trick, you can make ice instantly. And it might sound hard, but there's only a few steps. So, all you need to do is put a bottle of purified water that you can get in any store, and some of you might already have it in your fridge, and then put the bottle in the freezer and let it sit for two and a half hours. Then pour the water bottles over some ice, and then the liquid from the bottles will begin to freeze instantly. And you guys can even make your own instant ice sculptures with this trick. And this is something I I definitely need to try on a hot day. But next up we have glowing liquid. So this trick will allow you to make your very own magic glowing liquid. So for this you're gonna need four highlighter pens, pliers and a UV light. So first fill four glasses with water and fill them most of the way but leave a little bit of room on top. Then get your highlighters and pull off the back of the highlighters using the pliers. Then take out the sticks of highlighter ink. Then put the highlighter ink sticks into the glasses of water for one hour. Then after the hour take them out of the water and shine a UV light on the glasses. And it will create a magic looking glowing liquid. And you can transfer this into to a bottle and pour it out into other glasses. Just be warned, this may look amazing, but I guarantee it will not taste amazing. But next up, we have blowout candles using the force. So this is a really cool one, and okay, you don't exactly use the force, but this one is absolutely awesome, and it's like the real life equivalent of using the force. First, light a few candles, then get a bottle and put some vinegar into it. Then add a pack of baking soda and it should fizz up. Cover the bottle with your hand as it fizzes up, then just place the rim of the bottle near the candles and they'll all blow out. And the reason why is because the mixture of vinegar and baking soda creates an invisible vapor that blows out the candles. And this trick is bound to leave your friends scratching their heads. But next up we have crystal candy. So I'm sure all of you guys like candy, but I bet you guys don't like going to the store and spending money on it. Well with this trick you can make it for free from the comfort of your own home. So for this you're gonna need a cup of water, sugar, a skewer, a clothes peg and a tall glass. So place a peg on the skewer to balance it in the glass, then boil some water and when it begins to bubble add some sugar. And once it's all dissolved, remove what's left from the heat and then leave it for about an hour. Then pour what's left into a glass and wait 4-7 to seven days and the sugar will have crystallized around the skewer. And then you'll have your very own icicle looking crystallized candy that you can eat. How it works is the sugar automatically separates from the water and then the only material left for it to go to is the wood from the skewer. But next up, we have unpoppable balloon. So we all know that balloons can be popped really easily. For example, if you place a pin or a thumbtack on a balloon, then it will pop right away. And if you were going to place loads of pins or thumbtacks, then it would pop even quicker, right? Well, no, if you try to pop a balloon with a lot of thumbtacks, then the balloon won't pop at all. And the reason why this happens is when you pop one balloon with one pin, all of the pressure is concentrated on only one point of the balloon, so it easily pops. But if you have a lot of pins, then they're evenly distributed on the balloon, so it won't pop. But next up we have magnetic fluid. So this one makes a scary looking and amazing magnetic fluid. First pour some black printer toner into a jar and then add some oil. Then thoroughly mix these together until it becomes very thin. Then put a magnet up to the side of the jar and you guys will be able to see the liquid react with the magnet and move around the jar. And it will also form small spikes. Because of the mixture of oil and printer toner, some areas of the liquid are magnetic but some aren't. So the magnetic parts of the liquid will try and form together and raise up to try and touch the magnet. While the rest of it will stay where it is, making a spiky pattern. But next up, we have slime. So if you guys watched Nickelodeon when you were kids, you'll remember the slime they used to use. Well, now you can make it at home, except this slime is even better. You'll need some water, food coloring, liquid glue, and borax. So put some water and borax into a cup and mix it together. Then fill another cup with some liquid glue and mix it with water. Then add your food coloring into the liquid glue and water mixture, depending on what color you want your slime to be. Then mix the water and borax mixture and the water and liquid glue mixture together and let it sit for about one minute. And there you go. You You've made your very own slime which will last forever. But next up we have water into wine. So this one seems impossible but it's really quite simple. All you need is two cups and a piece of thin plastic which is slightly bigger than the rim of both cups. Fill one cup with wine until the cup is full and then do the same to the other cup but with water. Place the plastic over the top of the water cup and turn it upside down on top of the wine cup. Then pull the plastic sheet out a little bit and you'll gradually see the wine replacing the water. 
But next up, we have Floating Orb. Have you ever wanted to be a wizard? Well, sorry, I can't do that for you, but this is pretty close. So for this one, you need a 24-inch PVC pipe and six strands of mylar tinsel. Tie the tinsel to one end, then go down about six inches and tie the tinsel again. Then cut off the rest of the tinsel. Then grab the PVC pipe and rub it all over your hair, which will create static electricity. Then let the rest of the tinsel drop into the pipe and it will create a floating tinsel orb. And what's awesome about this trick is that even though it's so insane, it only costs about one dollar to do. But next up we have lava lamp. So lava lamps are awesome, but they can cost quite a bit of money. But with a few household items and a little creativity, you can create your own at home for free. And you're only gonna need four things, water, salt, vegetable oil, and food coloring. So pour some water into a glass and then put in some food coloring. Then put a bit of oil into the glass, but because the oil is thick, it will just stay on the top of the glass and not float around. So add some salt to spread the oil around. And then because of the mix of all of these items together, the oil is gonna keep moving around the glass forever. And it will move every time it hits the side of the glass, making a constantly moving lava lamp. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the best experiment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.